What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are taking a look at this behemoth destination style travel trailer. I mean, check this thing out. I'm standing probably 30 feet away from it just so I can fit the entire thing in frame. It is absolutely massive. This is what you would put probably instead of a cabin on a piece of property. And when you look inside of this, you're probably gonna think that even more. But this is absolutely cool. There's so much to like about the interiors of these things. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this enormous, enormous trailer. So it's got a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,700 pounds. It's actually a little lighter than I thought it would be. Cargo capacity of 1,339 pounds, rides on 5,100 pound axles and E-rated tires. If we come over here, the overall length of this unit is 42 feet, one inches long, and it has a dry weight of 10,302 pounds. So this is as long as a long fifth wheel. Simply massive. You got three slides on this side, and then you got one slide on this side over here. They look to all be rack and pinion slides. You got a sliding door right here, like you'd see on any normal home. And you have two entries, but I'm gonna go through this back one since the front one's locked up. We're gonna take a look inside of this enormous trailer. Now, there's a screen door on the bed, but the screen door on the bed isn't mounted until you buy the unit. So they put it in place so it doesn't come out while you're in transit, because they usually just fit into a rail. King size bed, tons of room back here. Look at the little nightstands on each side of the bed. You have all sorts of wardrobe space back here. Very, very cool. Again, tons and tons of wardrobe space back here. You got more cabinet space up top there. You got some dresser space right here, a little space on top. This is where you would mount your TV up here. You have your cable and power connections above. You have a spot for a washer and dryer, which is very nice. Here are your connections down here. And you put a full stackable unit in here too, which is nice. Again, this is kind of what you could use to replace your traditional cabin. All right, we're gonna go out into the main area. Huge window right here, right when you go out. And it does have some really nice blackout shades, even though it's super sunny outside right now. You have your Coleman mock thermostat up here as well as your ability to turn on the fan right here. Coming into this beautiful bathroom, you have a nice cornered shower, and it's a really good size cornered shower. Much larger than you might normally think. A lot of ceiling height in here, probably seven feet roughly, maybe a little more than that. You have a medicine cabinet over here, a lot of space, as well as a stainless basin sink in here, some soap holders, brush holders, and you have a good amount of space for toiletries, towels, and supplies. That's a very nice shower bathroom area. Porcelain foot flush toilet, which is also very nice. Coming around this way, we are stepping into the living room. So this is a mid living room model, which is kind of different than some of these that I've shown before. You have a sofa right here, sofa on this side. They're kind of in between a sofa and a love seat in size. They fold out and create this enormous bed area, but they are on opposing slides, so you got a ton of room right here. You have your theater seats right here, and these may actually be individual recliners. They are, so you can move these around a little bit. You have your fireplace, as well as a spot for your TV, your sound bar, lots of storage, place for your shoes, which is really nice. And I love the color tones in here. Very, very nice colors bright with some dark accents, nice neutral tones, nice wallboard. Everything's really nice in here. Some cabinets there above the love seat. A little bit of carpet in this unit, mainly underneath your slides, very common on most RVs. Here's that enormous residential sliding door that you saw from the outside. That's how you control the four slides and all of your lights and such. And then you have this really cool little bar area right here, which is nice because it faces the TV. So. Whenever you're sitting here, you can enjoy the game while eating your food. And this is a 2022 Puma 39 FKL, has a 60,899 MSRP and a 50,423 sale price. This is gonna be kinda like your pantry storage. Let me set that right there. You 
you have a full freestanding four person dinette here, which is nice with a huge window. Plus you have a window right here. Again, that accent looks beautiful. And here's your front kind of cornered kitchen. This is cool. So you have a huge residential 12 volt refrigerator in here. Then you have an upgraded graystone stove oven combination, very nice. Plus a graystone microwave, it's a compact microwave. And you have lots of really nice countertop space here. You have four drawers. Oh, this one has dividers in it. More storage here. More underneath the sink. More right here. You have a nice solid surface Corian style countertop complete with a stainless steel single basin sink. You have a cabinet up here as well. Now, there is not a lot of cabinet space in this kitchen. It's kind of lacking, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's typical of something like this that you would have a ton of cabinet space, so you don't have a lot of it. You can make do with what you have, but the single biggest thing that I think it does is it kind of forces you to put stuff lower. Now, you can use part of this space for that if you'd like, but this is kind of your pantry space, so you can divide this up a bit to kind of share that space if you want. But overall, this is pretty cool. I do like these bar stools. They look really nice. And imagine if you were parked next to something really pretty outside, you just have a great view into it. Very, very cool. What are your thoughts? Let's hop outside and take a look at what the outside of this unit's all about. By the way, there are two air conditioning systems in here, one in the bedroom and one in the living room. Both of them are Coleman mock units. Okay, let's start from the front and work our way back. Typically on this style of trailer, you're not gonna see a power tongue jack, even though it would be nice to have one, mainly because you typically set these and kind of leave them where they're at. You don't move them around too much, hence the very flat front nature to them, not very aerodynamic. You're gonna have two 30 pound propane can spots there. You can hold probably two batteries here as well if you need to. Has all scissor jack style stabilization around. Again, you kind of set it and forget it. Outside of your water heater, You got your steel flip up steps here. A lot of people will simply build like a balcony or something next to the unit so you don't have to worry about your steps so much. You have a propane connection right here for an outside barbecue grill. This is on a 12 inch I-beam frame. You also aren't gonna typically see high end tires or suspension equalizer on these. It says Castle Rock ST tires, no upgraded equalizer either. Again, because they don't expect these to be towed around a lot to be honest with you. More steel flip out steps does not have frameless windows. They're the standard framed windows, which are great for allowing air to come in, which I've grown to love, especially with the Black Series, which has that same type of airflow because of the design of the window. Coming around to the back, does not have LED lighting, but it is wired for a backup camera. Again, you got your scissor jacks back here. You have a gray tank lever right there. This is a rack and pinion slide. All of them again, they're all rack and pinion. There's your black tank, another gray tank connection there as well. Outside shower, as well as your city water and your black tank flush. This is a stick and tin unit, which I probably should have said at the beginning. Basically it is a wood frame on a steel chassis or a steel frame underneath. Wood sidewall construction, wood roof construction with an aluminum siding. Lower cost overall, but much easier to repair if you have to, which is nice. Coming around this way, you have another gray tank there. That's going to come from the sink up front in the kitchen. Overall, this is a very cool destination style trailer. Now, if you plan on towing one of these things around, I would not tow something like this with anything less mainly than a dually because of that stability. You're gonna have a lot of sway with something like this if you're not careful, and you want something that can control that very easily. Now, when you compare this to other things that might be the same weight, this is gonna react far different than almost anything else out there because of how tall it is, how heavy, how wide, and how long it is. It's gonna act as a giant wall, and the last thing you want with something like this is to overwhelm the tow vehicle. Three-quarter ton trucks are great for certain applications. For something like this, you're probably gonna 
going to have upwards of about probably 1200 pounds or more resting on the back of your truck which means it's going to put a lot of weight behind your truck and when the back of this starts to wag a little bit it's going to impact how your truck tows so you want to be very very careful with the type of truck you use to tow something like this again in my opinion i would tow something like this behind a dually mainly because of the the four wheels sitting on the back it's a very very hard object to get to move side to side it can happen and it does happen and there's even videos on youtube showing it happen even with dualies the most control you can get when towing something like this the better but again you shouldn't tow one of these very much to be honest with you this is to move around maybe once every couple of years to a piece of property that it's going to sit at for a while anyways guys i'd love if you left a comment below let me know what your thoughts are if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.